you go to the CD, var, www, html, and you do ls and list, you will find that the example has not been flat. The reason for that, because the example.zip, this file here, is not owned by the EC2 user. So the easiest way to do it is to go back to your environment. And from your environment, you have the file example.zip. So you can unzip it, example.zip, to the local folder here. You have a folder here. From that folder, you can copy all the files to that destination. But before you doing that, if you just do ch on ec2 user to the folder example.zip, example, uh, sorry, not example, Let's say the example in ch on ec2 user example this will give the ec2 user which is the current user in cloud 9 the permission however just just to let you know guys in the coming steps when you launch the ec2 instance via the auto scaler via the launch template you don't need to do that all we are doing here is to test the application to inspect it so this this step in particular is an optional step. You don't need to stuck with it. You can just carry on, create an autoscaler, and then access the EC2 instance that is created by the autoscaler via the Bastion host, and you will find the software there is already installed. So the Cloud9, we just use it for dev, for us to access those different EC2 instances. Now, the next step now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the example folder, and from the example folder, I want with sudo, because the var www HTML folder is protected by the root users. We are going to do now sudo copy cp star dot start all files. And this is our destination, var www and then HTML. Now, if you go to that particular folder, you should be able to see all the files of the website. So in particular, this step is very optional. It's not related. All I need you to see in that video is just how... The whole thing is happening. Now, if you go to your public IP address of this EC2 instance, so we now to test page yeah. here. And if we refresh now, this is should be replaced by the application that I just copied to the WHTML folder. So this is pretty much what you are mainly need to do in order to overcome this issue.